something. We heard there was something on the top that was written on the top of it. What is it? What is that? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just started working a couple okay. weeks ago. Oh, the convert. Yeah, I always forget that. Something about uh, referring to God. We get a consistency that uh -huh. people, no matter how many years they worked in Washington, uh -huh. and they know exactly how many years it took to build, exactly how much it cost to build, right. exactly how much it weighs, right. uh -huh. how many eighths of an inch it sways one direction or the other, right. but they don't know something that's been something permanently like inscripted since it was built <laughs> over 100 years ago. And the point being that we've lost a lot of the, the real key values and the things that we have taught for years. Later on in the Book of Mormon, as we see the Nephites move away from their spiritual moorings, they also move away from their political moorings. When Mrs. Margaret Thatcher was on this campus and I was talking with her, she said, I cannot understand it. You have the motto, in God we trust on your coinage, and yet you cannot mention the name of deity in the classrooms of your schools. She wondered. And I wonder about our consistency. In embracing these things, we've abandoned the principles that were given to us by our founding fathers, but also the principles that were given to the Nephites and to ancient Israel by God himself. There are those in this nation today who would delete all of this reference to deity. They would take it out of the Pledge of Allegiance. They would take it from our coinage. They would remove it from our, any mention in our national life. The Nephites did the same thing. Uh, the city of Ammonihah, the city of Jacob Yuga, they were all studying to remove the principles that God had given in government. See, Pehoran ignored the petition because it would have implemented a change. The freemen understood that if their constitution was not protected, they would lose their liberty and their rights of worship. Their very purpose for leaving Jerusalem and being led to a promised land, the freedom of religion would be lost. Our constitution has been shredded. It's, it's a terrible situation. Whatever we once were, we are no longer a Christian nation. No longer a Christian nation. We are forsaking the Almighty, and I fear He is forsaking us. We are closing the door against the God whose sons and daughters we are.